So habits, how are they formed? You know, this is one of the questions which I'm always asked. Hey Satish, how do I form an empowering habit? Now, look at me. It's, it's actually a Saturday evening and I've been in the gym. It's almost now finished my workout. Now, I've been working consistently for the last five years in this gym. Now, how did I develop this habit? It's, it's absolutely nothing secret about it. It's, I became consistent on a weekly basis. I started coming regularly and over a period of time, this became a habit for me. So if you're looking at developing an empowering habit, what I would suggest is stick to a couple of days on a consistent basis. And over a period of time, it becomes a habit. Now what happens is here, when you do something, say for about 14 to 21 days, you're operating on a conscious level. After that, the subconscious mode will take over and then it begins to move on autopilot. So if it's a workout what you're trying to look at or probably an early morning walk what you're planning to do, what I would suggest is start small, don't look at doing it for about half an hour or one hour. The moment you look at something, doing it for a large amount of time, what happens here is that you tend to kind of give away midway. So look at doing something small, like five minutes, 10 minutes. Believe me, small steps make a big difference in the long run. Once you do that, build on it, and then you know, over a period of time, what you could do is you can make that five minutes into half an hour, 45 minutes, and one hour. Try using the small principle in your respective lives, and I'm sure it will make a big difference for you going forward.